In today's video, we're going to step into the shoes of Mikel Arteta and conduct what I believe to be a realistic rebuild of Arsenal for this summer's transfer window. We're going to go and buy the players that I think they might sign this summer, as well as shifting on and selling the players that I think are going to leave the club. Let's, let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another realistic rebuild on the channel then. You guys seem to really enjoy the Manchester United Eric Ten Hag realistic rebuild that we did recently. So I thought we'd continue. we do another one. And I was thinking about which team to do. You guys had requested a few different teams in the comments of that video as well. And then I had a look at Arsenal. And I thought, actually... We're in the middle of a very fascinating time at Arsenal right now. They've got this Mikel Arteta rebuild that's sort of ongoing at the moment. He's now a couple of seasons in. I think actually they're probably ahead of schedule if you're thinking about. They almost finished in those Champions League spots last season to ultimately bottle it towards the end of the season. But, but I think if you get yourselves into the shoes of Mikel Arteta, Arsenal are probably where he was expecting them to be at this stage. And that means that he's probably got his eye on quite an important summer of transfers at the club. Today, we're going to sort of analyse what's going on at Arsenal and see if we can predict what happens this summer in that transfer market. We're going to look at which players we're going to bring in and also which players are going to be sold on. And I do expect quite a few players will be leaving over the course of this summer. That's today's plan. We should probably get into it. Okay, before we do get into it, a couple of bits of admin. I know, I know, it's annoying, but we will get into the video soon. I just need to say thank you so much to all of the brand new subscribers to the channel. There seems to be a lot of you recently. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. If you've not already done so and you do like the videos, then do think about hitting the subscribe button because it's free. And also, we're so close now to 20,000 subscribers. It seems mental to say that, but we're so close now and you can really help us out by hitting the subscribe button. Also, leave a like on the video. Leave me those comments down below. I do want to discuss things in here. We're sort of doing a, quite a lot of real football talk and it's always good to chat football with like-minded people. So get those comments down below too. And also another bit of admin, lots of you asking me, how do you get this up-to-date database? I did make a video which is linked here. Look, it's in a card as well. You just need to follow those steps and you can set up a up-to-date database save file like I have done here. There is also another way to get your hands on all of the save files that we do on the channel as well. And that is to support over on the Patreon, the Claytreon as we call it, you will not only get all of those save files as well as a load of other resources such as any, you know, spreadsheets that we might do for different videos, but you'll also get your name in the videos down below as well. So think about doing that if you want to go and support in a different way. But of course, you don't have to. I appreciate you just being here watching the videos. Let's then, let's get into our proper Mikel Arteta realistic rebuild at Arsenal. Come on. Okay then, so let's start things off then with the outgoings. Which players are going to leave Arsenal this summer? To show this, I've set the squad up in the tactic that they rocked last season. Arteta used this 4-2-3-1 and last season we saw how successful that was. Almost almost but not quite qualifying for the Champions League maybe almost overachieving for the season now I'm not expecting a big change for this I think they'll carry on in the same vein as we talked about it was quite successful but just looking at it on paper I've put in all of the players that I think are going to still be at the club next season a couple of them are maybe iffy depending if a player becomes available but to start off in goal then Aaron Ramsdale will of course be the goalkeeper next season had a really really good season for Arsenal this year Tommy Asu I think was a bit of a revelation since coming in looks like a very capable right back is either footed could move him to the other side if you needed him to could even play center back as we saw in a few games I think he had a really good season so Tommy Asso will be there in the squad they've got two very able center backs in Gabriel and Ben White as well there's a lot of links saying about maybe bringing in a left-sided center back they don't really have much cover there so Gabriel maybe you're looking to bring another center back in I might look for that when I bring in my players in this realistic rebuild they will of course as well have William Saliba coming back from his loan spell elsewhere and I think he will be an important player probably to back up Ben White on this right hand side of the defence next year so maybe a left sided centre back that also makes the question of where does Rob Holding sit in the plans for next year I wonder about this one. I think he may fall down the pecking order slightly with Saliba coming back. If a bid came in for him, I think they'd probably consider it. We saw how much he struggled in games, such as that game against Spurs where Son just kind of tore him apart, didn't he? So I do wonder about Rob Holding. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in this rebuild just yet. If a bid comes in, I might think about shipping him out, depending, of course, whether we can bring in a player to back up Gabriella on this left-hand side of defence as well. Kieran Tierney will, of course, be the first choice left-back. Let's 
hope he can bounce back from those injury worries that he has had and has continued to have through his career actually they may well look at a backup left back because I think we all sort of saw it that he played a lot of games last year did Nuno Tavares I'm not sure we saw that he was a very good defender I do wonder whether we'll see him maybe be shifted on maybe out on loan maybe sold depending of course whether a left back is available there Zinchenko has been linked very heavily of course he knows Mikel Arteta very well could cover midfield as well as left back I might look to see if Zinchenko is available in uh, in this realistic rebuild today so of course Tierney will be first choice but I think we might see Zinchenko join the club this summer into the midfield then we've got Granit Xhaka who still divides opinions he seems to pick up those yellow cards seems to rate himself very highly and has put in some really good performances but I do wonder how limited he is do they need another midfield option in there I've seen Yuri Tielemans linked quite heavily with Arsenal this summer I do wonder if that is something that they will move for Granit Xhaka though for me now I think he'll be at the club next season I don't think he'll move on but I do wonder whether he will be a starter alongside him Thomas Partey is a guaranteed starter I don't think we've even seen the best of him yet but I think he had a really good season last year in front of him another revelation almost in this Arsenal team last season Martin Erdegaard will of course continue in this number 10 role and then of course Bakayo Saka may be the star man in this Arsenal team from the right hand side cutting in in the mold of Mo Salah almost Bakayo Saka is a superstar for Arsenal and he'll be there next year I think we can all agree on that on the left hand side Gabriel Martinelli we saw glimpses of the player that he can become that Liverpool performance really stands out for me where we saw just how effective he could be he gave Trent Kittens that day and I think Arsenal fans will be wanting to see a little bit more of that from this left hand side they've of course got Smith Rowe who they've been using from the bench he can play in any of these uh behind the striker roles and then up front I've left the gap because this brings us on to those outgoings we will of course be losing Alexander Lacazette who will be leaving the club on a free transfer probably going to Leon. and then all of these players down here of course they were using Inketia in that role towards the end of the season it looks like he's been given that new contract does he deserve it? I'm not quite sure, but maybe even as a backup, they probably need him to stay at the club. A striker may well and probably will be on the shopping list for this summer. There's, of course, links to Jesus. There's, of course, links to Skamaka as well as one or two other ones. But there will be outgoings, as I mentioned, at the club this summer then. Just going through Hector Bellerin and Maitland-Niles, I will expect to see through the exit door as well as Reese Nelson. I don't think any of them will be featuring next year after finishing their loans. I think Bellingham will probably go out on loan. I think Lucas Torreira, his time's probably up at the club. Fiorentina, maybe Lazio as his destination. And I think Nicola Pepe, I think you have to put down as a mistake and a poor signing for Arsenal. He has just not performed in the red shirt. And we'll be expecting to see him out of the door this summer, as well as finally Burnt Leno. They are signing Matt Turner, the American goalkeeper. He'll come in as the number two next season. And I think we'll see Leno through that exit door as well. Those then are the outgoings. And I've talked a little bit about some of the incomings as well. Some of the transfers that I expect to happen and that then is where I'm going to now focus my attention as in FM here I'm going to go into the transfer market I'm going to see which players I can sign which players want to join the club and then conclude all of our transfer business before coming back and sharing it with you to conclude our realistic rebuild as Mikhail Arteta here at Arsenal I will see you when I've done some transfer business Okay, then transfers are now completed and I've managed to spend a fair amount of money here as Arsenal, which I actually do expect them to spend a bit of money this summer. As I mentioned before, I think it's an important window for Arsenal. I think it would have been sort of penciled in by Mikel Arteta as the as the window to really try and improve this squad. For a while now, he seems to have been trying to trim down on the squad. They've had a very small squad for the past couple of seasons, trying to slim down the wage bill to hopefully you'd suggest maybe go and spend a little bit in the window. And I think this summer might just be that window especially where you look and see you know Lacazette moving on and some money being freed up to maybe go and sign a striker and that's what I've sort of managed to do I've spent 141 million pounds as you can see here but that's not quite as bad as that because I did manage to raise 133 million pounds so the net spend people as people love to point out you're all right with this it's 8 million pounds going out which of course not quite how it works but People love to mention a net spend, don't they? Let's start, I think, with probably the sales then. So I've managed to move on. Nicolas Pepe, as I mentioned, was going to be the plan. He's moved to Leipzig for £20 million. If they can get £20 million for Nicolas Pepe after his failed transfer, they spent a lot of money on him. I remember when he was linked to Liverpool and then Arsenal got him and it felt like a bit of a coup for them, but it's really not worked out for Pepe. He's moved on for £20 million now and I think they bite off anybody's hand if they did offer that £20 million. Next up, now, I wasn't sure about this one. One. Rob Holding has moved on for £18 million. I'm not sure he would quite command that transfer fee. Maybe 
he would. If holding moves on this summer, I think it's because Arsenal have signed another centre-back, which we'll go across to. I have managed to do. Clement Longley has signed from Barcelona. Now, I don't know if they'd buy Longley. I think maybe a loan has been mooted, but I think a left-sided centre-back is definitely something that Arteta might have his eye on. So I've gone for Longley in this role. I think he would be a really decent signing for, for Arsenal this summer. Maybe not for this type of money that I've managed to do in the game here, but maybe a two-year loan, which I've seen in some reports, especially if holding has moved on I think Longley comes in or vice versa next one is Bellerin he's gone for 18 million pounds here again I don't, I'm not quite sure he goes for that amount of money but I do expect Bellerin to move on same with Ainsley Maitland Niles he will go too I've sold him for 17.5 million Reese Nelson as well I mentioned all of these as part of the plans for players that I wanted to move on he's gone to Leipzig too Pablo Mari has moved on another reason to sign a centre-back that's another left-sided centre-back being moved on here but Leno he's moved on I think he will do we talked about that before Lucas Torreira has gone for Real Madrid for 10 million pounds again I expect him to move on probably to Italy rather than to Real Madrid and then a few other little transfers to Mike Beer if to Porto Ballard to Stuttgart and then some free transfers including Alexander Lacazette who's moved to Lille in this case but I think it'll be Leon in real life won't it that will actually free up a fair amount of wages actually which is important when you're thinking about this rebuild that is going to happen this summer. Some players too going out on loan. Tavares, Balogun, uh, going through to some more important ones. Maybe Patino going out on loan and Rekic too. Again, another centre-back that is going out. I think we definitely needed to sign one. That's why we've brought in Clement Longley. Going back up to the top then, the backup goalkeeper next summer will be Matt Turner. This is an official one that has happened. Marquinhos is a transfer that looks like is very likely to happen. Will he get first team minutes next year? Potentially, with some of the players maybe moving on. I'm not quite so sure though. He looks like, especially in FM here, he's got a bit of developing to, doing, to do. But the Brazilian youngster will be joining Arsenal in this summer. And then the next one, we talked about it before. I've brought in Alexander Zinchenko. I think maybe it won't be for this amount of money you know what fm's like with transfer fees especially if you're trying to buy the players i think zinchenko might end up at arsenal this summer i've bought him for 33 million pounds here i think it just makes sense i think he'll be used at left back because of the injury issues that kieran tierney seems to have as well as in central midfield with granite xhaka being in there i think zinchenko might get midfield minutes for arsenal now i haven't signed a center midfielder in this uh, in this set here that is because i was thinking that Tielemans would be the guy however on my save he's gone to spurs on a free transfer and i wasn't able to get him do I think Arsenal might move for him this summer? Yes, is probably the answer to that. He's gone to Spurs on this one, which would be a bit of a blow, wouldn't it, for Arsenal fans? Therefore, I've spent the money elsewhere, as you can see. Moving through, we talked about Longley. Up front, then, I've brought in Jonathan David. Now, you're probably thinking this, if you're thinking along the same sort of lines as me. Why have you brought in Jonathan David and not Gabriel Jesus? I expect, actually, I'll come fully clean here. I expect Arsenal to go and sign Gabriel Jesus this summer. However, he really was not interested in joining in FM. He would not move to Arsenal unless they improved their stature within the game. So he was just an impossibility. So I moved for somebody that I think would actually be a really good signing for Arsenal. An up and coming young striker who can play just behind the striker, could play wide as well. I think Jonathan David's got a very, very bright future in the game. And I think if Arsenal were being smart about things, if they missed out on Jesus... I actually think they should move for Jonathan David. I considered a few other ones as well. Skamaka has also been linked heavily. He actually wasn't interested in joining Arsenal either in-game. So I've ended up with Jonathan David. I think he'd be a really good signing for Arsenal. Between him and my other last signing... Cody Gakpo. I've seen links to both of these in the press. I don't know if they'll get both. I've gone for both because we couldn't get Jesus. But actually, just in terms of I think Arsenal may need another player who can play wide. I think Gakpo could do that role as well as being an option up front too. So I think he would also be a really good signing for Arsenal. Those are the players that I've brought in. Let me show you how they would fit in to the squad to the side by having a look at the tactics screen. Here we are then on the tactics screen. Please ignore the, uh, the red cards. I have had to start the season here. We're fourth. By the way, we've had some good results we did lose to man city but beat chelsea 4-0 arsenal fans you'd be happy with this as a start to the season wouldn't you but ignore those red cards and some of those injuries and players off on international duty if we just go through the squad here i think it'll be set up and look a little bit like this goalkeeper will be ramsdale backed up by matt turner tommy asu ben white gabriel tierney is probably the first choice defense you could put longley in there on this left hand side you could put saliba in there on the right hand side i think arsenal's defense there will be very strong i think this is the defense and maybe a squad actually that would definitely be aiming 
for those top four spots. And I think maybe they could just about do it. Of course, they were very close this year. I think they'd have the potential from here. You could also put Zinchenko in at left back if you needed to. Zinchenko too could also play in central midfield instead of Shaka. If you were to put Tierney back in there. There I've got in the midfield Zinchenko and then Party. Of course, Shaka I've just mentioned. Sambi Lokonga has played football matches for Arsenal this season as well. I think that midfield is looking a little bit stronger. If we move in front of those, then I think maybe the first choice would be these guys. Maybe you'd have a look at a player like Gakpo on the left-hand side instead of Martinelli. But you've got Odegaard in behind the striker. I think we'd expect to see that. And Saka from the right-hand side. I think that's just a given at this stage. And then up front, if it's not Gabriel Jesus, which wasn't able to be done in FM, I think you look at a player like Jonathan David. Maybe you look at a Skamaka. Maybe you go and look elsewhere. Maybe a Victor or Seaman if it was possible. I don't think I see that one happening. What is likely to happen is probably Gabriel Jesus in this position here. But just looking at this squad, look. I think this would be a well-built built squad. I'd be expecting to go and finish in maybe those top four positions, if not just outside, but you're building towards the future. Something to point out with this squad is actually, if I put on here just the age of these players, you've got so many young players that are going to improve in this squad. You've got a young goalkeeper at just 24. That's very young for a goalie. You've then got Tomiyasu, only 23. Saliba, 21. Tierney's only 25. You've got Saka, of course, so young at 20. If you brought in someone like Gakpo, 23. Jonathan David, 22. Again, I don't expect that one to happen. I think you go for the slightly more experienced experience Jesus. Odegaard only 23. Gabriel 24. This is a young Arsenal side. I've not even mentioned quite a few players there. I think you'd be very happy with this as a realistic type of rebuild this summer. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also let me know who do you want me to go and do a video like this one on next? Maybe Spurs? Maybe Chelsea. I think Chelsea could be quite an interesting summer. I have no idea what they're going to do, of course, with the new owner as well. Let me know that in the comments down below, as well as what you think of this as a rebuild. But we'll leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you very soon. Bye-bye.